Hey there, I'm RVA Hiker Girl, and today I am in one of my favorite places in Virginia, and that is Shenandoah National Park. And I am in the Northern District um, this morning, and I'm at the Compton Gap Trailhead. So um, Compton Gap is um, a 1.9 mile hike. Um, there's two summits, and there is, um, a special geological feature called um, columnar jointing um, and I'll explain a little bit more about what that is once I get up to that but anyway super cold this morning um, it's right at the freezing point I think it's at 32 degrees so I feel very um, confined and restricted by all these clothes that I'm wearing this morning I feel like the Michelin man um, I think I have like four or five layers on so I know as I get moving I'll be able to strip some of that off and get a little bit more comfortable um, but anyway all right let me get going because my hand's freezing off and uh, I'm gonna get warmed up. All right, let's go. So from the parking lot, you cross the street over to that trailhead and you start going uphill right from the start. It's a huge boulder right there next to the trail. I'm coming right into the sun, so that's probably not good for you to be able to see. So, uphill, like I said, right from the start. And definitely my throat hurts and my lungs are burning trying to get used to this really cold air this morning. evened out quite a bit and gotten more level. If you notice, looks like most of the leaves are off of the trees. I would definitely say we're past um, peak fall foliage. Different sections look a little bit different, but this particular section must get a lot of wind because there's no leaves really left on the trees. Um, we are on the AT. Um, the Appalachian Trail for this hike, and um, it's 597 feet in elevation gain, um, almost 600 feet. So you can go that way for a portion of this trail for one view, and that way for another. So um, when you get to that three-way intersection of the trail. To the right is a Blue Blaze Trail. And if you go point two, that's gonna take you to an overlook that is right up here, coming up. our overlook. Yeah, you can see by looking at the trees, we're just past peak fall color. They're now starting to all fall off the trees. They're all on the ground. All right, just came from that direction back to our intersection of the AT. Now heading over to the left side. Um, the right side was 0 0.4 round trip, and that was to about a 180 degree uh, overlook. Um, definitely do that, um, it's pretty um, over there. But this direction is what the main highlight and feature is of this trail and that is the columnar joining. And that too is also a blue blaze trail, as you can see from that tree. So this is supposed to be a steeper climb um, going down this way. So we'll check it out. Okay, so see this 
big boulder. It looks like it's just an ordinary boulder, right? Well, let's get down to the bottom and see what's down there because that's the highlight of this hike. Alright, so I'm at the base of that big boulder and this is that column near jointing. And basically what that is is like a hexagon, hexagon um, lava tubes when they cooled and they cooled in these really cool hexagonal, is that how you say it? hexagonal shapes? I mean, I'm sure this video is not even giving you the magnitude and scope of how big, but it keeps going over here to this side too, but this side is definitely grander. And there's some of these at Upper White Oak Canyon, but this is the best example of this in the state of Virginia. So to give you an idea of how big these are, like this is my hand. You can see the hexagonal shape of these. Like they really are massive. It's really cool. was a steep climb coming down next to this formation but now when you go down you got to go back up so lots of loose rocks climbing down all right time to head back up Okay, when you do this trail, don't make the mistake that I did. Okay, when you come up to this, you're on the AT. If you go this direction past this pole, that's the AT South. And for some reason, I thought there was a view down that way, but there wasn't. So I went to the right first on the Blue Blaze Trail, point two there and back. So point four for a overlook. That was nice, 180 degree view. And then to the left, is another blue blaze trail and I'm not sure how far that is down to the uh, col columnar jointing um, for the lava lava hexagon uh, flow um, I have a hard time saying that I don't know I guess it's a mouthful but that is maybe about 0 0.3 0 0.4 down and then back um, but yeah so once you get back to this junction you want to go back to the parking lot and not go south I just went south for no reason downhill and had to turn around and come back uphill so now I'm coming back the way that I came so what was supposed to be a 1.9 mile hike I've already hit that for sure going down there and coming back so yeah so it definitely will be over two miles but yeah interesting little short easy hike um, to go uh, check out those two little features with the overlook and the geological feature. Easy trail going back though, so that's good. Hey there guys almost back to the parking lot if you can hear those cars but um, I think this hike for me was about 2.9 miles which was a mile longer than what it should have been um, I think the the trail info said 1.9 miles and it's from that section of the AT that I took south that um, I didn't need to because I thought there was another overlook that way but it's all good it's a nice beautiful day to go hiking 
Um, anyway, yeah, great hike. Um, lots of kids with their parents um, out. It's a Sunday, um, and that's great. I love to see parents taking their kids out for hikes when they are young so they have a better appreciation for taking care of our parks and the environment you know when they grow up they'll have a, a better appreciation for it so that's awesome so anyway yeah a great hike um, I would highly recommend it most of the elevation is going to be when you take the trail to the left to go down and see the the lava formations um, that are down there that's where most of it is um, but anyway yeah we'll come check out this trail i'm off um, to do another trail right now um, this one was so short so i couldn't drive all this way and just do one trail so i'm headed down to the southern district heading south um, to go down to do mary's rock so anyway all right guys well thanks for watching this video um, i hope you'll come give this um, trail or try. Oh, by the way, they call it Compton Gap, Compton Pink, and Compton Summit. So, three different names they kind of use. Um, so, if you're ever looking up this trail, be sure to, to note that. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.